Hey guys, Jared back, and we're gonna be taking a look at Rasta Cat ROM for your Nexus 5. Uh, this is a great ROM, really, really stable for two reasons. One, the developer is a good developer, and two, from what I am not able to find, I should say, um, there isn't any battery optimizations or performance tweaks. Now, some of you guys might be saying, uh, what, you know, but guys, you gotta keep in mind, we're running a Snapdragon 800 processor with two gigs of RAM and Android 4.4.2. It doesn't get a whole lot smoother than this. I'm sure technology will improve. But anyways, anyways, I'm sidetracking too much. No battery optimizations, no speed and uh, performance tweaks, which means there hasn't been a whole lot of dicking around with all of the build up prop stuff. So we're looking at a stable ROM here. Now, all of the customizations, of course, are gonna be residing in the um, actual Rastacat build tweaks menu option here. So let's go ahead and jump in there. But while we're actually in the settings menu, you'll notice that it's just a solid black, same thing um, with uh, the notification tray and everything else it's no gradient sort of you know soft black or gray I should say too black it's just one solid black color which I really really like um, so let's jump into build and tweaks here and start it with the status bar so everything you'll notice actually it's actually quite minimal in terms of the customization options um, everything's laid out very nicely and they're not completely packed with things where you're just gonna forget about half the customizations in the, um, to begin with uh, so that's cool let's jumping in a status bar here we've got the brightness control which you can slide your finger across the status bar to adjust the volume. We do have some different battery styles here. The one that I'm rocking right now is the Icon with percentage. You know, usually, or at least I should say usually, I, I used to really be a huge big fan. I'm still a fan of the circle with the percentage. Um, but you know what, since 4.4 came out, um, I'm really digging just the stock battery icon with the percentage in it. I think it looks a lot cleaner in my opinion. That's just my style for now though. Uh, we also have the quick pull down. So from the far right, we can pull straight to uh, the quick toggles or you know, straight to the um, uh, notification center pulling from the middle or to the left. And of course you can always change that to off or left or right. Uh, jumping into the navigation bar, just the one option there, which is the navigation bar height. You'll, you may already notice that mine's actually smaller than default, but we can adjust that from everything from the default at 48 all the way down to zero DP to completely hide it if you want to. So I kind of like this to give us some more screen real estate. Um, and we can move on to the volume rocker. Uh, some really cool options in here. A lot of the things that you'll find uh, very common in a lot of Sand Engine mod or most AOSP based ROMs in the in the um, sort of volume rocker area, I suppose you should say. Um, volume adjustment sound, uh, we've got the volume panel style from expandable all the way to none, expanded single if you like. Um, volume key cursor control, I think that's a really great option because there's a lot of people out there that maybe don't have SwiftKey, don't like SwiftKey, or maybe like the uh, stock Google keyboard, or stock Android keyboard I should say, I'm sorry. And you know, with SwiftKey we've got those options to add the arrows in the keyboard there so you can, you know, skip ahead and you know correct spelling mistakes and so on but some people don't have that and that's where the volume key cursor control comes in handy uh, volume rocker wake of course always very uh, handy uh, volume rocker music controls love that and the safe headset volume option to be turned off um, love that you know it basically plugging in your headphones your auxiliary cable into the 3.5 mil headphones jack and of course you try and bump up the volume it says oh I don't blow your eardrums and, oh yeah I know let's get on with it you know so um, I like that um, um, quick launch, uh, so it's from the home screen, swiping up from the bottom, of course, usually you guys are able to access your Google search, but now we can also um, add two additional shortcut options there for us. Uh, lock screen sliders, just as you would imagine from the lock screen, as you can see, I already have hang Google Hangouts and the uh, Torch, and of course to unlock, but we do have two more options in there. Um, so add those if you want to, and the plugin prompt, this one I've never really cared about it's just a plug-in so you uh, when you plug in your charger does your device wake up or or not um, and we have last but a lot not least notification LED so of course change the colors of your uh, notification LED um, based on the applications or uh, certain actions that happen that you want um, and that's pretty much it that is literally it guys and that's Rastacat. <laughs> uh, anyways, like I said before, everything's working, it's stable, and I've gotten really, really great battery life out of this. I'm not a power user like a lot of you guys out there are because I do spend most of my days in front of the computer researching ROMs and hacks and things like that and applications and so on. So I don't leave the house a whole lot, but based on my usage with two email accounts, a couple of messaging applications, text messages throughout the day, um, and so on, Wi-Fi and or data, always connected, always on, at all times, GPS, the whole nine yards, 
cards. Um, it's it's stood up pretty well. I can definitely get through an entire day on a single charge, uh, no problem whatsoever. But uh, anyways, guys, uh, hopefully you like this ROM. I really really enjoyed it just because it's so simplistic and it's so bloody stable. Um, I'm in love with stable ROMs. Uh, but that's it though, guys. Hopefully you liked it uh, as much as I did. Of course, I'll be posting a link in the description below to the ROM as well as a G apps package because you will need to flash G apps afterwards. And of course, I'll be following this video up with a how to install video for those of you out there that need your visual cues. Anyways, guys, thanks as always for watching. That's it for this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.